So it looks a little bit better. It's not perfect, but nothing I do is perfect. So I don't want to stop. I just want to slowly peel back the layers of the onion. Well, hello everybody. I'm in my kitchen. <sighs> Guys, I, every time I talk about my kitchen, I get a little anxious because I still need to paint all my cabinets and I just haven't had time, like no time. So if you guys would like to see a video of me painting my cabinets, it might make me paint them a little faster. Comment down below if you wanna see me paint my cabinets. But yeah, anyway, so I'm in here because I wanted to clutter. I wanna get rid of a little bit more in my kitchen. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you've seen that I mostly do decluttering in layers. I don't wanna declutter too quickly. I feel like that's gonna be like a huge shock to my system to my brain, to just the way that I move throughout my day. I feel like we're at a pretty okay stage. Like if we if we stopped right here, I'd be happy. My kitchen doesn't feel like it's completely overwhelmed and there's still spots that are kind of annoying and there's a few things that I know I need to, need to clutter. I brought some stuff up from the basement that I've been storing that I just don't think I'm really gonna be using. So I just, I do layers. I do like, you peel back the layer of an onion and you expose a new layer of an onion that you can peel back to, or you can live with that layer. You can decide if you wanna stop there. I don't, I don't wanna stop. I just wanna slowly peel back the layers of the onion. And I've heard of the container theory, and this is one of my favorite like container method things where you use the container as the bad guy and then you say, well, we don't have enough room for all of these cups, which is one of my pain points in my kitchen, I think was it's the cups and my cabinet needs to be painted. So just ignore, ignore all the putty and the different colors of cabinets and it's just gonna be a mess. It's just gonna look funny today because that's just where I'm at, but I just feel like the functionality of my kitchen needs to be fixed. I'm gonna start with the three main pain points in my kitchen. The first one is my cup cupboard. There's so much. Okay, that, there, there's another shelf up there that you're not seeing. Anyway. Okay, so there's this one. We just don't really take hot beverages with us really anywhere. So I think we can get rid of that. And then we have mason jars. We tend to like to use these. I like them to drink out of. And so we have four mason jars, but then we also have these cups as well. And what's interesting is I bought these because I know Devin likes bigger cups, but I feel like they're not much bigger than like a mason jar just because like these are smaller, I mean, they're bigger, but they're like skinnier. But I think I like the mason jar itself better for drinking out of than these. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these ones. I bought these ones, I was so excited about them. They're like a dollar each. And I was so excited because of how big they were and I knew my husband would love them. But we just, we don't really need them. We use mason jars. I think they look nicer too. Um, I have more mugs too. I have more mugs, so I'm gonna pull out the ones that I really just don't use. This one, these two. So over here, I had brought all of my mugs that I got from trips and things. Like this one is from Capri, Italy. Such a pretty, pretty place. But I just feel like I don't really think I'm gonna use it. This one, I just, I'm looking at more of like the size of the cup. So like this one and this one, I feel like are a little bit better cup wise to use. So this is the Doctor Who cup. And then this is from Barcelona. And I think I'm gonna keep these two. And then the rest of them, I'm gonna see if someone else, well, I'm gonna see if my mom wants these ones because she went on this trip with me and she might enjoy them. And then I'm gonna keep these two. Just know that they would go right here, but they need to be washed. And then right here, this is like the baby cup like the shorter baby cups and then I have the bigger baby, like the taller baby cups down here is just a water bottle that I really don't love. So that's going. I think it might be time to say goodbye to the blender bottle. Doesn't that feel better? There's room to grow if I need to. There's also stuff in the dishwasher 
that will need to go in there. But for the most part, everything in there is what I want to keep. Now I have a pile. Pain point number two in my kitchen is above my fridge. And I actually got a comment on, a, on the video I posted today, which, today's Friday, and I got a comment on it saying like, you should probably clean off your fridge. It looks kind of sad. I'm like, like I know. <laughs> better than how it has been in the past because we have kept things up there for the renovation and whatnot and I'm trying to keep the stuff out of the kitchen that's for the renovation unless I'm using it actually at the moment right now because it's really bad up there. <laughs> so this is my fridge. I'm gonna pop up there. So hello and welcome to the top of my fridge. Up here I keep the dog food. So these are like some dog treats dog food. It's nice to keep it up here because it's out of the way. This I just have, this is like a junk drawer, but not. I have about six junk drawers in my kitchen currently. That's for another day. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about worrying about the junk drawers today. Like this is just full of some stuff. I'm not worried about it. Some garbage stuff that can go straight into the garbage can. And then we have two lunch boxes. These, I have a better place for them, so I'm gonna stick those where they will go. And an invite to a wedding that I never went to. Ended up on my fridge, haven't seen it since. A Bluetooth speaker that is my husband's, so I'll make sure he knows where that is. And then this is where I keep most of the dog treats and the dog food, so yeah. Do you wanna come up here? It's really, really, really gross, but I'll just let you up here for a second. So. Dusty, you. All right, let's clean it. <laughs> yep, it's just a little bit better. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. This isn't really like decluttering necessarily, I guess, but it is just making it look a little nicer. So I do still wanna keep these up here just because it's functional. And I don't care that much. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this up here too. Just because I do think it looks nice, even though even though it's full of stuff, but most people won't be able to see what's in it until later. So it looks a little bit nicer. I know it's clean and I know what's up here and I can use it a little easier. So it looks a little bit better. It's not perfect, but nothing I do is perfect. So <laughs> so this is a platter. Someone gave this to me and I have wanted to use it. I just haven't ever like kept it in my kitchen and I do feel like it's a nice platter so like if I were to go somewhere I'd have a good thing to put it on so I think I'm gonna keep this one because I don't think I have anything else that would work so I'm gonna keep this one platter I have these two little plates these were also stored downstairs and they are so pretty like so pretty and I've just like I've just never used them. I used them for my wedding. When Devin and I got married, I used these at the wedding as like decorations, but I haven't really been able to figure out a good spot for them since. And they're cute, but they're not like, they're not like sentimental. So it's not like a big deal if I were to get rid of them, which I am. So I said there were three pain points. Guys, I'm gonna go through my Tupperware. I might regret this, but it's time. So I have three drawers that have Tupperware in them and I still have Tupperware in my dishwasher. There's probably like two or three things of Tupperware in my dishwasher. I use my Tupperware like in my freezer and my fridge and I use them for so many things and I love my Tupperware, but I think it is time to pare down just, just a smidge and let's do that. So in this first drawer, I have tried to keep like the smaller ones and then a few others. So I do use like these bigger ones, but these smaller ones, especially the ones that are plastic, I don't really use them as much. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. And then the glass, the smaller glass ones, I do end up using those ones a lot. So there's those and then these bigger ones specifically you can't even see what i'm doing <laughs> these bigger ones like this are really 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 nice so i do plan on keeping those i have two of these ones they're like i put like cookies in them and i put like i just i use them for everything this one 
is pretty nice too. I use that quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next drawer because I might come back to some of them, but I think for the most part I do use most, I think for the most part I do use most of those, but we'll, we might come back to that drawer. Okay. All right, guys. So the circular ones just, I just don't love them as much. And I have one in my dishwasher too, and I use them, but I think it's just because I, I just, I don't know, I, I tend to use them, but the square ones are just a little bit nicer to use, I think. And I have a lot of glass circular ones, so I'm gonna keep the glass circular ones and get rid of this one, and then when the other one comes out of my dishwasher, I'll pull that one out as well. Next drawer. This drawer. <laughs> oh, this can go up here. All right. So this drawer, this is a container that I use a lot, but the lid is breaking. So I might replace this soon, but I'm gonna keep the bottom. And I'm just gonna stick the bottom one with my other nine by 13 pans for now, I think, and get rid of the lid just because like, it's really falling apart. <laughs> like it's bad. All right, and then is this one a similar situation? No, this one's fine. I'm just gonna keep this one still in here though because it works for what I need. I also use this one to bake as well. These ones specifically I use for Devin's lunches, so those are nice. These ones, these two of these ones, I probably could get rid of these two. I don't know. I feel weird getting rid of those though. I think, I think I'm gonna keep one of these bigger ones and then get rid of one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I think we're good on that. I also have this circular dish that I use sometimes, so. And then I can actually stick this back in here. I'll just kind of try to remind myself to replace this, this one with one that has a lid that isn't falling apart. I went through my major pain points in my kitchen and now I kind of want to move to the utensils. And those are, they're pain points too, but not in the same way. Like this, I was having a hard time putting all of my Tupperware away. And yes, I know I have a lot of Tupperware. I know I have a lot of Tupperware. But I feel like getting rid of even just this much is very helpful. So, yeah. It's nice Tupperware though. I have really loved that Tupperware. It's the snapware stuff. It's so good. But it's just the glass ones I tend to like better because you can reheat them. And they don't get, you know, they don't get ruined <laughs> if you put them in the microwave. Because I'm a microwave gal. I like me some microwave food. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the first drawer. Definitely has too much stuff. Okay, so if you can see, I have kept a lot of stuff that I don't need. So I want to go through my knives and these I want to keep because when we do have corn on the cob, I use those for corn on the cob. I like having a specific like one to put my, my can opener in. It's been kind of nice. I'm not really an organizer, but it is nice to have things organized. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so then I have little bag clips and medicine things right there. These knives, I just feel like there's some knives in here that I just will never use. They're not my first choice. Like this one is never my first choice. This one I do use. This one I use, this one I always use. I actually wouldn't mind going to Ikea and getting some more of these. I think my sister left this at my house and I don't want to give it back because I love it. And it's just like a paring knife, it works really good. And then these ones, I don't really use them either. However, I feel like I'd need one for like Devin if he were. So I'm gonna keep this one for like meat. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep that one and then get rid of these two. And then this is a bread knife. And this is, I don't know what kind of knife that is. I think that one I can, I can, I can pare this one down. I, I don't know what kind of knife this is. 
I'm not sure, but I don't really use it, so I think I can get rid of that one. This one is a bread knife, and I use it for bread for the most part, and that's it, but I like having a bread knife around. And then I have my chopsticks here. This is a, this is like a vegetable peeler, but it also strips the veg, like it strips up the vegetables in little strips. I want to use this, I do, but I just never end up grabbing it and I get nervous I'm going to hurt myself. So I might just, hmm, it would be so nice for salads, right? But I tend to just cut my, my, I don't know, I don't really tend to cut it up like this and I hate the way like you have to like hold it to cut it, so I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> and then... This will go in the bottom drawer, in the bottom lower drawer. And then I have two vegetable peelers. I do tend to use both of them. Um, so like, and it's nice to have two just in case like you need someone to help you peel the potatoes, you know, which is nice. <laughs> anyway, and then I also just use this to like cut up carrots for a salad too. I just slice, I just like, um, just slice them up, you know, anyway. Um, this is a nice big knife that I tend to use. It's just Cuisinart. That was in a nice set. And then this is also a pretty nice one that I use too. I got this, I think at Walmart a long time ago, but it's been nice to have that one. I'm just going to stick all the knives right here. And then this is my cake serving things, and I do use those every once in a while at least. All right, scissors, um, and then I'm gonna leave that right there where it is. That looks pretty good. All right, this next one. Okay, I have a wooden spoon. Guys, I don't really like wooden spoons, and also this one looks like it's seen better days, so it's going. Um, I use this strainer sometimes, and this as well. These are from the dollar store. I just, I really like them. I have a little spatula and I think I have another spatula like this one but in the dishwasher and it has like little slats. So I have four spatulas. I think, oh gosh, it's hard because like they're used for different things. I think I can, I think I'm okay with cooking the four of them. And then I have that and the spoon. And this slotted spoon really is helpful for certain things, so I'm gonna keep that one too. Okay, and I have two sets of these and I use them. Honestly, I got rid of a lot of spatulas recently, so I think I'm okay with what I have. I just needed to get the other things out of that space. Next drawer. My whisks are here. I have one more in the dishwasher. These are like attachments. These three are attachments for my, like my mixer, hand mixer thing. And then these are, other whisks that I use. Okay, let's put spoons right here. Does that look okay? That's good. Cool, okay. Um, those don't fit there. Cool. Then the next drawer down is my pots and pans. And, and most of my pots and pans are in the dishwasher. So I have this little one and then I have one that's a size bigger. And then I have this pot and my KitchenAid attachments and then two frying pans. And that's been working out pretty good for me. So I'm happy with that. And they all fit in the drawer pretty comfortably. So, All right, so I have these that I can put in a box to get rid of. So I have a cousin that just bought a house and she is looking for more stuff for her house. So I might send this stuff over to her and see if she wants it. I'm seeing her tomorrow, so that's kind of why I wanted to go through my kitchen today is just to like make sure I pull everything out of my kitchen that I'm not using so that someone else can be blessed with it and use it. So yeah, so that's something that I've just been trying to work on and do. Next thing, since we were working on utensils, I'm going to keep with that trend. This one, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of anything, but I'm going to look. <laughs> These are my utensils. I literally just sort them by spoons, forks, butter knives, and then I have all the baby utensils in here. I do think I want to sort it between forks and spoons. Um, so these ones right here are ones that I just don't really use. They're the baby spoons and they're like temperature 
they, they uh, turn white if the temperature is hot. And I do wanna save these if we do end up having another baby in the future. So I'm gonna save those for the future, but I don't want them to clutter up my drawer. I feel like this is like enough for my family. We kind of have probably have too much, but I'm not that worried about decluttering this because I'd rather have too many utensils instead of running out. I don't like washing utensils. I hate it actually. So I'd rather just be able to throw them in the dishwasher. Um, but I have a bunch of spoons and only like five or six forks. There's a couple, in, there's like at least one in the dishwasher. So I wanna keep my forks together in one, but these are all the spoons and I feel like that's just too many spoons. So I'm gonna find the ones that are like bitten up, ruined. Probably the dog got to them. There's a couple that are nicer of that kind. This one is pretty sad. I like these ones, but the dog finds them and then she chews on them, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, and then I have a million of these spoons. So I need to decide how many of these ones I would like to keep. And I think I'm just gonna do two blue ones and two green ones because that was easy. And then I'm gonna put these in with the other stuff to get rid of. Cool. And now it's not as cluttered. It doesn't feel like it's throwing up into the drawer and I have these to save for my next baby. And to go down this, I have, I've been keeping washcloths in here. So there's only one in there right now, but I have to wash a bunch of laundry. Um, hand towels and tea towels are in here. So that's okay there. I need to take off the tags off that. And then this is for like oven mitts and things. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay because the container theory, the container method where it has I have enough for it to be in, so it's not like a big deal. All right, I'm gonna move on to something else. So at this point, you might be wondering why I have so many drawers. I wanted drawers in my kitchen more so than any other thing. Also, you might be wondering, I don't really have my kitchen like really overflowing with stuff, which is really nice and I would recommend, but I also, it's also because we did just redo it. We moved our kitchen and I have a video about that, but we moved our kitchen from one room into this room and I like it so much better in here and it just looks so much better even though it's not finished. It looks and feels so much better. I have a lot more space, so I have room to breathe, but I still feel like there's some spaces that just I don't have enough room to breathe. So um, this isn't one of them. So I have my blender down here. I'm not gonna touch it. It's the only thing down there. And then I have my nine by 13 pan right here and two bread pans. And I don't really cook bread that often, but I feel like two bread pans really isn't out of the question. Like they're pretty nice bread pans. If I ever replace them, I'd probably get two and then get rid of these two. But as of right now, I feel like it's pretty good. And this functions really well and it's just like a 12 inch cabinet. I do need to paint it again because I didn't paint it correctly the first time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and then right here is like a junk drawer and then up here is like, um, like tin foil and that kind of stuff. I'm not going through that right now. I'm not that worried about that right now. There are a couple things that I might want to get rid of. So I have been toying with the idea of getting rid of my crock pot. For the most part, I really just use my instant pot for like everything. And there, was, there would be times that I would use my crock pot, but I just, I just haven't. <laughs> so I might get rid of it. So I kind of wanted to test out my theory and see if I hate not having a crock pot, but What's nice about this crock pot <laughs> is that it's really dusty. Um, it comes with it comes with a carrying case or a, a case that keeps it warm, and it's a nice crock pot. I really do love it, and I got it at a yard sale for like five dollars. So let me grab my crock pot. So the only thing that I have recently used my crock pot for is to make broth, and. And I do, I do like to use it for that, but I have other things. I have other means of making broth. It's not like I have to have it and it is taking up room. So I think I'm gonna just say, you know what? 
I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see if I can live without my crock pot. And if I have to get another one, that's something that I can come to that bridge. But I feel like this, this is one of those things that I just, I don't know, someone else could use it, you know? So, so I'm gonna wipe this down and then I'm gonna see if my cousin would like the, a crock pot because it's a good working crock pot. It's really nice. It has like a elastic band that goes over the top and holds the lid on. So it's great, but I don't need it anymore. Okay, this is for my Instant Pot. It's just another sealer, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then, so last time I went through my bowls and things, I, I did a pretty good job, I think. But I kept this. I only kept one colander out of the two that I had. And then, and then I have this fine mesh strainer, which I'm gonna keep as well, because I use that when I make broth or, or horchata or whatever I decide to make. And then this bowl. So I got this bowl at Ikea. I really like it. I just, it's hard to want to keep it because I just don't use it. I've only had it for two months, but I honestly, knowing that I've only had it for two months makes me even want to get rid of it more because it's just, I don't see myself using this in the future. So I'm just going to say, you know what, that needs to go. I bought it, it was it was pretty inexpensive, so it's not that hard to get rid of either. This is my griddle, I'm keeping that. This, this is a pot that I got from a thrift store and it works pretty good. It works pretty good, except I just, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer because I might use it. And if I don't use it by the next time I try to declutter, I can get rid of it, right? Right. This is a cast iron skillet. It needs to go down with our camping stuff. Okay. This is a bowl I do use, and it's also the reason why I'm getting rid of the other glass bowl. This one has a lid. It's easier to store when I'm not using because I don't use glass bowls that often. I do use them sometimes, but not too often. So it's nice to store that up there. I'll show you what it looks like up there in a second. I have my KitchenAid down here and, and, and my Instant Pot. But then I have these three bowls. There's three of them in here. And I'm keeping these ones too because I, the same reason. I like the fact that they're travel safe and they're bowls. So I can still use them to mix things and then I can just throw a lid on top of it when I'm not doing it anymore. And then the next thing is this. This is a TV tray that I got for Devin and he has never used it. <laughs> I think I think I might have used it like one time um, when I brought him breakfast in bed. So like it's hard for me to get rid of this kind of stuff and just I can't I can't I can't get rid of it. It's gonna stay another day. Guys, I'm not the best at decoloring things. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in here. So I have my bowls right here that I use fairly often and then my griddle and a large stock pot. And then here's my bowl and the other bowls and then the TV tray right there or the whatever tray you wanna call it. Instant pot and KitchenAid and it all fits really pretty well. Over here, this is my stove and my range and whatever you want to call it <laughs> and my dog and down here I have so I have this down here which I rarely ever use it's like a pizza tray so I think I'm gonna declutter that I have used it in the past I just don't I don't really make pizza very often <laughs> um, we order from Domino's okay then I have four cookie cookie sheets which I actually do use quite a few cookie sheets for certain things and I just I'm gonna keep them because they're nice to have and then I have a smaller cookie sheet that I use probably the most out of everything and then I have this like cookie drying mat whatever you want to call it just like a mesh thing and then my one muffin pan pretty okay I think that's pretty decent 
and they all fit in here really nicely. I honestly didn't even know that was in there, so I'm glad I got rid of that. Okay, and then in here is all my paper clutter. I'm not gonna deal with that today. Up here is where I keep all of Dan's coloring and just kind of fun stuff that he gets to do at the table. And then down here is where I want to keep all of my cake decorating stuff, but it's in my pantry, so I'm gonna have to bring that in here. Let me go grab some of it. <laughs> Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I'm a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind but I just Now I have cake decorating stuff in, the, in one drawer One day I will go through it <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Okay, so this is my garbage can and recycling bin is in the corner over there So that's fine. This up here. So this is where I keep all of my cutting boards and I just have one two three Four like of these plastic ones one wooden one. So I think those are good. They all fit in the drawer It's it's good and then I did a video where I went under my sink and I did that and that was really nice to get that done. But this up here is one that I'm not sure if I'm gonna find anything in. We will see, <laughs> so let's see. And I haven't felt like it's too crowded or anything. I feel like this layer is pretty good except I did get new bowls and I have five of these bowls and I think I like them better than these ones. These ones are just a little more bulky. I like the plastic probably on these ones better than these ones, but these ones are fine. And Dan seems to like them. So I'm gonna put this one and its friend that's in the dishwasher in my giveaway pile. And then all the bowls would go here. Plates and things are over there. And I do like having some nicer plates, like ceramic plates. Up there is my popcorn maker. That's staying. My mixer, my hand mixer, that's gonna stay. I like having a hand mixer along with my big, like, big KitchenAid mixer because it's just a little easier when I don't want to access it. Ex access it. There we go. I have my three, my three waffle makers. Okay. So I have three waffle makers, guys. Okay. Just maybe don't. Maybe maybe. <laughs> Maybe I don't need three, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. So we have a Belgian waffle maker that makes two waffles at once, which is really really nice. But then we have a stuffed waffle maker, which is different <laughs> and delicious. We've only used it once, and I want to use it again. So I I need to feel like I need to use it a few more times before I decide if it's a keeper or if it's like too much work to use, you know. But it was actually really easy, and I just filled it with like. Pudding, like vanilla pudding from like a container, like jello pudding, <laughs> and that was delicious. And then we have a little bitty mini waffle maker. That's the one I would maybe be able to get rid of right now, is the bitty mini one. But it's also nice to have that one for Dan to make him little waffles. So I can't, I just mentally can't get rid of my, any of my three waffle makers currently. And I think I might have a problem. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They fit up there. It's fine. See? See, that's my Belgian waffle maker that I use all the time. And then my stuffed waffle maker. And then if you can see, there's like a little pink waffle maker right above it that I use sometimes. And then this next level, I have a pitcher, cheese grater thing. You know, my egg poacher that I have used a few times. I need to use it some more. I have some funnels up there and then my pineapple slicer pretty great salad spinner that I just got at it got at it, I just got it at IKEA and then I have a pie pan I have a few other things honestly everything in here right now is pretty good I do like having my lids to my pots up here mostly cuz Dan kept getting to them and kept playing with them and it was not great <laughs> I think I just went through my whole kitchen with you guys. I do have one more spot and it's just the cabinet that's behind my like peninsula. 
um, facing the living room. So we'll go through that real quick, but I gotta set you up and set up a light because it be dark down there. <laughs> this is the cabinet that's behind um, my like peninsula area and I definitely need to paint and make this look good too. <sighs> it all takes time, it takes time. Okay, so this is where I stuck all of Dan's Christmas books. So these need to go downstairs. That's just, that's just the first thing. Honestly, like guys, I just haven't wanted to take this downstairs. I need to, but that, I'm gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna take it down right after this video, okay? I will, I, I definitely will. I have a headphone box, the extra little ear pieces for my headphones. So I'm gonna keep those and then I can get rid of this box. And then down here is a box of baby wipes that I definitely will use. And then this is an Xfinity box that I can toss as well. And then a couple things of garbage. All right, so that's good. And then I wanted to put the lunch boxes in here and I probably will like rearrange my kitchen at some point when it's all finished, I wanna do. So when my kitchen is all finished, I wanna do like a complete overhaul of my kitchen. Like the organization and everything, I just want it to look better, you know? So yeah, <laughs> like this one isn't too bad. It's just, now it's it, it's got a whole empty shelf here. I probably actually will end up putting like my cake decorating stuff in this cabinet because then I can close it and put a baby proofing thing on this, on the handles and then Dan can't get into it. Also, this is all the putty that I need to um, wash and sand off, so. <laughs> so let's, let's see what I decluttered. I'm gonna put it all together and then we'll see what, like all of it that I decluttered. Let's go. <laughs> okay guys, I'm sitting on my countertop. I feel real weird about this, but it's happening. So this is everything that I decluttered from my kitchen today. I feel really good about it. Like this is quite a bit of stuff. Um, given that I have so much room in my kitchen still, I feel like, I feel like my kitchen, like, I feel like my cooking is going to be a little bit more streamlined and I have other things that I can like use in, instead of these. I don't need all of the dishes I've had. So I'm just really excited. I'm going to put all this stuff in a box or two and take it to my cousin and see if she needs any of it and yeah. So I'm really excited. I think. I think I did an okay job today. I think I did all right. So you tell me, what do you think? Yeah, also comment down below what you guys decluttered from your kitchen this week, because I would like to know what you guys are getting rid of. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in my kitchen and getting rid of some things. And I had this rag there the whole time. Don't worry about it, it looks great. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.